These cows are the unlikely heroes of the year-long blockade led by Saudi Arabia. The Saudis went almost overnight from providing 80% of Qatar's fresh milk to zero. To cushion the blow, Baladna Farm flew and shipped in thousands of cows from Europe and America. And they bought state-of-the-art technology to run a large dairy farm in the desert. There's a total new infrastructure, there's a total new dairy industry, which wasn't there a year ago. And actually, uh, in fresh milk, we are already self-sufficient one year after. We have about uh, 10,000 cows. Uh, and by the end of the year, we'll have, let's say, around 20,000 cows. So we're still in the growing phase, in the building phase. Everything the farm needs is made there, from the dry feed to the dairy products. And I'm told this factory will soon be run by robots. Now, one of the major challenges is to keep these cows cool in the blistering summer heat. And these water sprays and giant fans are used. The cows then step onto the state-of-the-art rotary parlour from Ireland, where up to 750 of them are milked in a single hour. After feed, they then go to sleep on rubber mattresses to keep them raised off the warm ground. The company's vice president says there was too much competition from other Gulf countries before the blockade to get a share in the market. It's open big opportunities for these entrepreneurs in order to develop themselves, develop their own companies by creating uh, small and medium-sized companies in order to fulfill the gap. And now he's looking to expand beyond Qatar. We are planning to expand more in, uh, by the end of the year by bringing two more uh, shipments in order to start exporting uh, to outside uh, Qatar and we will be targeting first like uh, 20 countries. Of the $1 billion worth of all food imports to Qatar three years ago, the Saudis and the United Arab Emirates sold about a third. So who else is filling the gaps in the market now? We were also able to find alternative products, especially for a lot of the de detergents and a lot of the food uh, supply, also through Turkey, uh, Oman, Lebanon, Morocco, Tunisia, Algeria, uh, Europe, all across Europe. Uh, for every product, there is a hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of, product from, uh, of products. If you, if you close one door, there is a thousand doors that are open. For many Qataris, the blockade was a wake-up call towards self-sufficiency. And it's allowed new international investors to take a slice of the pie, too. Laura Badamanli, Al Jazeera, Doha.